the sun will come out tomorrow. So you gotta hang on till tomorrow. Hey, it's me, Lilla, um, and welcome to episode seven, yay, of Simply Red, backstage with Lilla Crawford. So um, right now I'm at a wee dad, which is um, a salon just for girls with curly hair. They specialize in curly hair. So um, it's kind of like a curly hair club. Anyways, um, I'm here to get a deep conditioning treatment because in this weather, my hair gets really frizzy and stringy and it kind of like gets really puffy and weird. And so with this treatment in the heat, it will stay down and pretty. So let's do this. Look who else I found coming here to get a treatment. Little Orphan Annie. Hello, because you have curly hair too, huh? So yeah, it's uh, very nice to see you. Yeah, um, okay, so we were discussing this and we thought that it would be, um, we were discussing this and we thought it would be um, a fun little thing to show you our befores and afters. So this is Annie's before and this is my before. As you can see, it's just not good, <laughs> the heat. So um, I'm gonna go, where I'm gonna show you my hair after the treatment and Annie is going to show you her hair after the treatment and we'll be looking like princesses by the end of the hour. Okay, Broadway.com, this is my after. Let's go. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but I look awesome, don't I? Okay, Annie, you want a magazine? No? Okay, that's okay. This one's really good. I don't know, maybe you should read it. Let's go, Annie. It's time to rinse. Time for perfect curls. wild because of the humidity and now it's not so um, I'm really excited okay and now what we have also all been waiting for Annie's after effect yay she looks as pretty as a princess Hannah we've had a really good time here at Wee Dad and um, yeah bye hey Broadway.com so now I'm about to teach a workshop to Marymount Drama Camp um, to 38 kids ages 7 to 13. So I'm really excited to do it because I remember when I did Broadway camp, the highlight of the camp was when somebody that's actually on Broadway came and taught a class. So I'm really, really excited. So let's go. Where I can teach everyone the dance to Hard Knock Life. 
Does that sound good? It's me, Little Crawford. I'm your host for Simply Red Tea Time with some surprise guests. So I would like to welcome the new additions of our Annie family. Hi, guys. Hi. So introduce yourselves while I pour you some tea. It's very good. Hi, I'm Gabby Bradbury. Hi, I'm Sky Alyssa Friedman. Hi, I'm Amaya Braganza. And so, um, what are you guys playing? I will be playing Pepper. <laughs> I'm a standby for Annie, Duffy, July, Pepper and Tessie. <laughs> I will be playing July. Well, welcome you guys to New York. Thank you. Um, where are you guys all from? I'm from Philadelphia. I'm In from that area. I'm from Florida. I'm from California. Oh, that's, yeah, I'm from California too, <laughs> California girls. And yeah. also, Florida, you're probably used to this heat. It's yeah, but crazy. Like New York has like that heat you can carry around. I know, it's really, I mean, and same within California, like it's more dry. Yeah, yeah same. And I mean, same with you, isn't it? Like it's different than New York, the weather mm -hmm. over there. So it's crazy. It's definitely less crowded. Yeah, <laughs> also that. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what's your favorite thing about New York? I like the sparkly sidewalks. Like they like sparkle. Yeah, they do, Kinda but then cool. sometimes they're really dirty and yeah. covered in gum, but that's okay. <laughs> what's your favorite? I love all the tall buildings. Yeah, I mean, it's really, it's just like that environment is like, whoa, everything's so big and so tall and you feel so <laughs> tiny here. <laughs> so, um, if you had a dog, what would its name be? Well, my dog's name is Downton and I'd be so sad because I had to leave him home. Oh, I'm so sorry. What about, what, what, what if you had a dog? What would you well, I do have a dog. His name is Georgie. Oh. Um, he's a Yorkie. Um, oh, I love Yorkies. He's, he's very so small. <laughs> He same jumps way. very high. Yeah, same with mine. Mine's a Malty Poo. Oh, He's oh, like and six if pounds. you had a dog, or do you have a dog? No, I didn't have a dog. So if you had a dog, what, what would its name be? July. <laughs> oh, and would it be a girl or a boy? A girl. Is your, is boy. your boy? Boy. Boy. <laughs> and um, do you think he or she would be a good Sandy? Yes, my dog can dance. He like stands on really? his paws and turns around and then get on the tree. 
me. So he can dance. So oh, wow. He would be really <laughs> That's amazing. Dance. I mean, he would be like a really small Sandy. But, <laughs> you know, if he had a really small Annie, like Emily Rosenfeld playing Annie, like it would That would perfect. work perfectly. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> so, um, can you guys do a one-handed cartwheel? Yes. 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 Can you show me? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do this. Yay! Woo! Luckily today I was wearing shorts. So, here it goes. Woo! Woo! About that dog, do you guys have a picture of it? Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so can I see? Yeah, sure. So, this is my Yorkie, Georgie. Oh, He's swimming. She's so cute. Mm -hmm. And this is my doggy Downton. I actually have a video of him dancing. <gasps> oh, can you show us the video? Sure. Let me get to it. Amazing. He can dance for longer, but he had already dance, danced. Dance, 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 dance. There you go, you little really boy. So I asked some of my Instagram and Twitter followers if they had any questions, and um, I picked out some really cool ones. So. So, anything SJB wants to know, if you could be any ice cream flavor, which one would you be? I think I would be like birthday cake, because it's like fun, and it's like colorful, and it has that's, all these things. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. really I like that flavor, too. Yeah. I think I would be crazy vanilla. It's Ooh. because I'm very colorful and energetic. What is crazy vanilla? It's Basically vanilla with dye of like rainbow colors. Oh, and colors. <laughs> that's and funny. And it's sweet and fun and exciting. So. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I've never heard of that. That sounds really yummy. I think I would be cotton candy because it's really sweet and it's like colorful. And, um, yeah. Annie Kate G wants to know if you could be born in any different time period, what would it be? I'd say like the 80s because it's like Ooh. colorful and like disco. Yeah, disco. My hair is kind of puffy. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really like the 1800s because I like all the glamorous and fancy clothes. Yeah, you know, the That's Victorian, very like proper. <laughs> it's a good one. Proper. What about you? I would say the 60s because I love Audrey Hepburn. Oh my god, I love Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> Me three. Oh my god, I have in my dressing room, I literally have a shelf and it's just covered in Audrey Hepburn stuff. It's just, it's just a shelf full it's of Audrey Hepburn stuff. I love, and for Halloween I was Audrey Hepburn. Really? Yeah, oh really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. So for every tea time, I always have to prepare a game. So um, I am going to call out a show of this season and you guys are going to have to imitate it in 15 seconds. Like. For example, you can imitate a character, or you can imitate something iconic that's in it, or you know, just you know the overall thing. Um, so I think it'll be all shows that you know. First, go Cinderella. I don't know what to say. Oh my gosh, it's almost midnight. I gotta go. Sky, have to do you to do Matilda. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. So they say sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty. Amazing. To bring it on. Yeah. Oh. Just be a cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And now you have to do Daddy Warbucks. Oh, oh no. Because of the business of this country is business. Da 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 da. The sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> now you have to do Sandy. Amazing. <laughs> I think because of the hair. And now you have to do uh, Miss Hannigan. Oh, you good one. You better clean this dump till it shines like the top of the Chrysler building. Yes, amazing. <laughs> that was over 15 seconds, but it's okay. <laughs> um, thank you so much for joining me, you guys, for this awesome tea time. Thank Thanks you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Group hug, everyone. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, bye, Broadway.com. Bye. bye. So um, I'm here with some balloons, as you can see, and these are the these are the actual balloons that are in the show that we use in NYC. So um, me and my friend Sasha, we came up with the um, 
most amazing experiment, um, and it's going to be a people social experiment. And um, I'm going to see uh, how fast I can give these balloons away. So um, let's do this. Okay, I'm going to try and shoot for these people. Thank you. Oh, oh no? Thank you. Okay. So, congratulations. Would you like some balloons? I would love some balloons. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much for taking them. Yeah. You know, those are balloons that are actually in a Broadway show, really but I had to give show. them away. Annie. Oh, really? That's awesome. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Thank All right. You. Awesome. Thank Bye. You. Thank you so much. I'm amazing. I got it on the second try. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The second try. The second try. Seriously. Did you see those other people that were like, no. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. I did it. Yay! Hey, Broadway.com. It's me, Lilla. Look what I just found. It's real live lobsters. Wait, hold on. Hi. Hello. My name's Lilla. What's your name? My name's Lerman and hold on. Are you on Broadway? Uh yeah, why? Do you know Herman? The table that she had for? Yeah, I mean of course. He's Santino Fontana's fish. I mean, who doesn't know him? Yeah, he owes me money. Uh okay. Um nice to meet you too. Yeah, whatever. Bye. Well, we can go eat some more cheese. Yeah, bye.